Yeah, my name is uh, Isaac Jewa. I'm the county EPI logistician for Mombasa. And uh, I'm here today to present a very interesting uh, uh, project and the vaccine potency. We all know without uh, potent vaccines, there's no program, is it? So in Mombasa, uh, we have been uh, uh, involved in um, uh, trying to maintain the, the potency of vaccines and trying to visualize what happens in the facilities. Temperature monitoring has been uh, always a hurdle in provision of uh, quality immunization services in the county. We are using the FT2 and uh, in some devices we are using the RTMs. RTMs are uh, uh, remote temperature monitoring devices. But for the FT2, you cannot get uh, real-time data. You have to go to the facility to be able to identify whether there was a problem. That has been hurdle. The uh, cold chain uh, equipment inventory uh, was also not sufficient. You could not know which facility is using which type of uh, equipment. And therefore, this project has been able to make us identify uh, the, the, the equipment that is in the facilities. So the sub-county uh, data review teams could not be able to discuss cold chain situations of the sub-county as there was little data available uh, and accessible to make in informed decisions. There is this app called Varo, which is uh, the app that we are using to be able to uh, um, uh, get data. V Varo is a mobile app, has enabled our facilities to capture temperature data from widely deployed the 30 DTR loggers, that is the uh, fridge tags, using an Android phone and uh, a, a provided OTG cable. Uh, we all know what an OTG cable is, isn't it? No. Uh, I have a sample. Probably if somebody can look in my bag, <laughs> there's a sample of an OTG cable. Uh, it's, it's a cable that is, is able, yes, thank you. I hope I'll get one minute for, yes, yes, yes. So this is an OTG cable. Basically it has a, a USB connector on this side, and this side uh, it is able to connect to the phone. Uh, we have, a, this is a, a type C, and we also have the type A, the smaller ones that can go in most of the phones. So once you connect this to the phone, so once you attach it and connect to the phone, and you have the Varo app in your phone, it is able to generate a file. And basically, it is a 60-day uh, file, uh, a PDF file, that shows you how the fridge has been uh, behaving for the 60 days. So this file is, uh, is sent to a, G a Gmail account, and uh, it is submitted to uh, the configured uh, users. The report then is, is uh, uh, sent to designated users, and then uh, it is analyzed. So the data that is uh, uh, basically uh, summarized, we're able to get the number of hot alarms, number of code alarms, number of excursions, and the uptime. Uh, I don't know whether we know what uptime is. Basically, our, our temperatures are supposed to be between plus two and plus eight. So this is the time that, the aggregate time that uh, 
the fridge is able to stay in those parameters. Then review of these CC indicators is done monthly by the impact teams and has provided the teams with the ability to track performance of CC equipment and uh, take time and corrective measures are taken. After, after the file is sent, there is this dashboard that is generated through the Pogo DV, uh, DV dashboard. And uh, these parameters are able, you are able to view them if you have the rights. So for example, this is Mombasa. Mombasa has six sub-counties. So once you click the sub-county, it, it is able to open the facilities. You are able to see all the facilities that are reporting. And it is also able to make a summary of how Mombasa has performed for that period. So for example, this is a, so the Pogo DV is able to track the number and types of alarms. And uh, this allows the teams to identify fridges that require maintenance. This is a, an example of a facility. Mbungoni uh, Catholic Center. The, the system is able to give you a summary of what is happening in that facility. It had 5.6 alarms. There was no cold alarm. There were 5.3 excursions. The uptime was 94.4 percent. And this is this reporting uh, is uh, in 50, 59 days. And uh, it's also go able to give you a graphic. Uh, sort of representation on how the fridge uh, behaves. So you can see the temperatures going up and down. Probably uh, this could be because of frequent opening of the door of the fridge, poor positioning of the fridge, and, uh, and balancing of the fridge, and uh, probably because of uh, power outages. So these problems can be able to uh, be sorted. Experience sharing. What worked? Uh, we had, uh, we have very highly uh, dedicated teams which have continually provided feedback for the facilities for corrective action and recognition of good performance. Monthly impact meetings which have provided prompt solutions, identified challenges, continuous on-job training on VARO and CCE data collection, which also includes private facilities. Uh, as, as I have said, this report is based on 70 facilities. Our immunizing facilities are 109. So that means there are 39 facilities that are not reporting. So this is still work on progress. We are trying to mentor the other facilities so that they can also be able to report. Formation of WhatsApp groups to communicate with health workers and reminding them on timely reporting. Challenges. Many of the FT2 devices are faulty. And with a faulty device, you cannot be able to generate a report. High turnover staff. You, you train one today, tomorrow, they are gone, so you have to retrain. And again, not all immunizing facilities are reporting on VARO. Lessons learned. It is possible to monitor and maintain vaccine potency in our facilities if we employ the right technology. So this is very interesting because I sometimes sit on my desk and uh, talk to myself because the data is also talking to me. Impact teams have offered a good platform to review cold chain performance and share valuable experiences. The county leadership will be able to get involved if helpful feedback is shared to them. So thank you.